And former President John Kufo says, despite government's inability to pay compensation due persons recommended by the National Reconciliation Commission, the objective for its establishment was achieved. He explains the commission was set up to help end the cycle of political violence that had characterized the country's politics over the years. A recent joining special assignments documentary revealed some of the compensation packages are still outstanding. Now, responding to questions when members of the Kofo Scholars Program paid a courtesy call on him as his residence in Accra, the former president said reconciliation was the priority. Yes, we returned some of these confiscated properties to their owners because the, the, the people were deprived of the assets, uh, not through legal processes. Uh, the, the due process of the law, the law is here. That was not the way. It was just raw exercise of power. You, how did you build the thing? We've taken it. Uh, your money, how did you make uh, 50,000 cities? We've taken it. But I know that uh, some of the, uh, is it compensations? Uh, uh, some, even as we speak, I hear not all of them were paid. But the whole idea of reconciliation was to try to uh, allow people to come out and speak out the pent-up feelings, the hurt feelings, so they wouldn't be motivated to go and try to settle scores, which would have been violent still. Well, I thought we needed time to build our nation. So what had gone under the bridge, what had, that was, what had gone under the bridge, let's draw the line, compensate where possible, allow decent barriers for people who had served the, the community, as some as head of state, some as generals within our um, defense forces. That we managed to do, but we couldn't do all of them. And even as we speak, we know uh, there are still people who are so hurt and whose uh, compensations have not been done. But we needed to draw the line so we could live normally. The former president observed the several coup d'etats the country experienced during the First, Second and Third Republics happened because politicians like him could not speak truth to their followers. 72. My government, of which I was a member, was overthrown. And uh, I was picked up like a rabbit and put into detention. I stayed in Ashaport prison for one year, three months. Uh, I think the things that contributed or made it easy for the coup makers to succeed was that uh, perhaps uh, we, when I say we, I'm talking of the members of government, members of parliament then, we were not critical enough, we were not outspoken, we deferred too much to leadership because 27th December, just two days after Christmas, uh, people were, had not even come back from the Christmas enjoyment. We were summoned to the castle to tell us we were going to devalue the currency of our country. How much devaluation? 44%. And what happened within just two weeks after that? This history now. So that would be the mistake that uh, I own up to. I, I was one of the people who just didn't speak up. So that you should learn from.